现什么？Today's video, I am going to be showing you how to make a GFX on mobile. It's actually pretty darn simple. <clears throat> I'd say one on a laptop is more simpler. You don't really have to adjust anything, but I mean, it is what it is. Anyway. So let's move on to the video and yeah so first thing you want to do is you want to go to ibis paint i suggest ibis paint because it's actually the best it's free and it's like literally the best editor there is so yeah so we're just going to copy i mean not you're just gonna get go to the other section there and then you're just gonna move every single bit of green there is we don't want green at all there there's actually another way of doing it but i i don't know it was like something else but I mean, you don't have to really do this one exactly. There's another one. I think I can just still do that. Or demonstrate that one for you guys. Hold up. Do that, and then you can just do that. Oh, wait, hold up. Okay, and then it's like that. I'm just gonna do that that and then hit that okay it's not working for me i'm gonna put clear layer and then you're gonna move section selection area oops i am gonna get the eraser and touch it up a bit on these sides because we don't want the green at all We don't want any sign of green. So I'm just gonna get rid of that and then just notice I am erasing some of the foot. Great! Okay, hold up. Slight opacity. No. Okay. Okay. I don't want to copy it. Okay. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay, hold up. Let me let me take this off, and then I just gonna remove section area. Selection area. Why do I keep saying section? Anyway, you just want to do that. And then you want to hit lasso. You want to have it on set. And then I'm just going to hold up. Drag the entire part of this one here. And then you want to make sure you have it on perspective form. Yeah, have it on perspective form. Because actually perspective form will do you good. If you have it on trans scale, um, yeah. I mean, you can also do it on trans scale, but I prefer perspective. Actually, some sometimes I do mesh form because I can easily line it up how I want it. So, if you can get mesh form too. Mesh form also works. It's 
going to save that, and then I'm just going to put it in perspective form. No, I'm not. Never mind. Move the selection area. And then I'm just going to get this arm. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, hold up. Actually, got to be precise now because it's actually... The hair is kind of in the way. So... I'm just gonna go for a regular, some type of design like this. And that's why I use mesh form because then I could be able to do it like that and things like that selection area and then I'm just going to touch up some things there I want any sign of like green so that's what I want to get out I want to get out all the green because the green is like overtaking the entire body like outline so, we don't want that. And then I can just easily touch it up like that. But, oops, that was a bit sloppy, so I'm going to fix that. There. It doesn't look too edited, right? Okay, I'm just going to... Okay, this is not the correct color. Oh, that's because it's a shadow, but I mean, it is what it is. I can easily, like, blur it if, like, something happens. Oops. Something like that happens. You can easily just, like, blur it so it looks exactly, exactly blended in. But I wouldn't blur it, like, too close because then something like that happens. bit edited right now but i'm going to show you guys how to fix that and if you want shadows and stuff like that which i'm about to show you right now once i finish touching this up a bit Getting more green? Really? Okay, there. I think I got all the green out the way. Now I'm gonna show you how you can make shadows, and you just take the black tech, the black color, and then you want the normal airbrush. And then you're just gonna put it on like that type of shade, and then you just. You can make it like light, so it's not as noticeable. It's not supposed to be that light, but I mean, it's supposed to be that light, but I mean, it's not supposed to be that dark. Some 
extra life into the character, because why not? I feel like I just messed it up when I did that. Hold up. I actually kind of want to touch up that hand, but then no at the same time. I don't know. I mean, it looks fine to me, but... Just adding shadows underneath things like like items like the glasses um the crown and just things like that i'm just gonna add shadows under because everything has a shadow under it Blur, like the amount of blurriness in this character like it's so pixelated it's actually disturbing my eyes Whew, my eyes Okay, we're just gonna add a shadow under the skirt and then I think we'll be good. Don't let me fix that up a bit because it looks sloppy and I don't like it. You just wanna touch up a few things to make it look as good as possible if you want it. If you don't really care for it, then I don't know what to tell you, but you just don't care for it then. If you don't want to put your best effort in it, that's okay. I know that shadow over there does not look the best, but I'm gonna fix it like right now. I just want this to look the best as possible, the best I can make it. Cause I don't see it, it looks good. I need to put some shadow right there just to make it look good. Looks better. Let's 
just gonna add a few more shadows just so it can look a bit better and have a little bit more detail probably maybe not okay so i think that's good and um wait i'm going to lasso the foot because I'm going to put it in perspective form right now. No, actually, I'm going to put it in mesh so it looks so I can be able to adjust some things. You know, probably not. Okay, I think I'm gonna remove the selection area that actually looks scary. Hold up. Why does it look like that? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Okay, it's gonna take it away. Okay, hold up. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just gonna put it in perspective form then because. Hold up, I need to put in mesh. And then fix that part up there. Hold up, let me do this foot first. That's what I'm going to be using. And I want it to look good. I don't want the legs so big, sorry. New selection area, okay. And then I am going to just move the leg over and then take mesh form and then just do that. The leg so it kind of lines up. Looks good. That's the best I can get it. So then the next app you want to use is, so you want to save it as a PNG and then you want to move over to BigShot. So I'll see you guys there. We're right here over here in Pixar. And oh, by the way, when you want to save it, save it as a transparent. So the background won't be there. And you have something like that. So. And then what you want to do next is I'm just going to get some type of rose or prop. I'm going to get a flower rose. I'm going to get some type of flower to hold. So that way it will look a bit better. So, I'm going to try to find some type of flower, some type of purple flower. I think it's purple. I don't know, but I'm going to shape some purple flower. <clears throat> okay, that looks good for my thing. I want to see if there's any other... No, I don't really see anything that I would like to use, so we're going to go with this one because it just looks normal. And we're just going to... Yeah, it may look like it's actually sticking through the thing, but it's actually not. You just, all you have to do is hit apply. Oh, oops. Hold up. One second. Ooh, that didn't mean to do that. Okay, now this is like ruined. Hold up. 
Hold up, let me redo it. Let me react it better. Because. Why does it do this to me? Why, out of all people, me? It's not fun. And then you you then want to go to stickers and I'm going to take my purple flower that I had recently back. So all you want to want to do, okay, I'm doing it so wrong. I'm so sorry. I accidentally hit the wrong button. So hold up. Let me get the size I want it. And then you see the eraser button on top, you wanna click that. What did I just do? No, I don't want that. Erase, uh, you wanna hit erase, and then it'll just erase everything in that area. Like, you just could decide what you wanna erase there. So I'm just going to erase, erase, and erase. And I think it's about right there. Oops. That's about where it is. And then, okay, that's good. And then you can just add anything you want. Hold up. I'm looking at something. And then I want to add like stars. So I am just going to look for something for stars. Like some good stars or something. I think I'm gonna do these ones. But the thing is, those ones don't really match my vibe. Hold up. These ones are a pass, and then these ones need to go too. No, I don't want it. This card changes. I'm gonna get rid of you too. This one has not passed the vibe check. No. Um, I want to look for something that that'd be more accurate. Something like this. This actually looks accurate. But what I should do first though is actually wait, hold up. Let's look at these ones. I actually like these ones more. We're doing those with these ones. Okay, so I have that in mind. But then what I also need in all my GFXs is the wings. So I am going to do type up fairy wings. <clears throat> I'm going to see which ones I want. And those ones are these ones. These ones, which was in is in like I think mode. but I don't think I want to have the fairy wings in this one though let's be real here I don't think I want to yeah I don't think I want to have the fairy wings in my this one Oh shoot, what happened there? Oh, erase things that aren't supposed to be erased. That's not good. I just want to see if these ones are kind of somewhat a vibe. If they're not... Oh well, that, that, then the idea goes down the drain. For these wings, because...
gonna go in and get the bigger eraser get a bigger eraser and then just delete everything not delete it but erase it and I will be capable of that and some of the things are going away great Hold up, I wanna see if these ones look good with the um, wings, because if they don't, then it's just down the drain. Aesthetic stars. Oh, the wings actually look good. So I think I'm gonna apply them. I could have just easily done this one, which is actually the same thing, but um, I don't want to do that because the thing is, like, it sometimes it draws on way too much. With the sticker, I can just put on immaculate thing. Yeah. Anyway, what I want like to do sometimes is. I like to put on some type of mask to make it look better, of course. There's brush masks and stuff like that. But what I like to do is the lights. No, it's the bouquet. Okay. And I like, I for this one, I think I'm going to use these ones because no, not those ones. Oops, wrong thing. I think I'm gonna use. These ones because they match a lot more. And I think that could be good. Yeah, I'm not gonna have anything around that. And then, I mean, that, that, that should be it. I would do like face mask, like shape mask and stuff like that, but I don't want to. That's, um, it's actually a bit boring. Call out, those are boring. I need to be honest, but those are boring. Anyway, I think that Oh, I hate that I just want to add a I think this looks best This looks best It really pops out everything And then what you want to do Finally is just save it To your photos And then that's it and that's basically how you make your own GFX. I will post this GFX on my Discord. So if you want to see it, it will be on my Discord. My Discord will be in the description. I mean, yeah, the, the, the description below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make a GFX. And thanks for watching and bye.